Now you're a year closer to those players being major league ready. So it had never made sense to me that the Yankees might suddenly pivot and go after one of those shortstops. Because when you have your own owner and Hal Steinbrenner talking about wanting to give these kids a chance, Flash, I'm not surprised that Correa is not on their radar. Yeah, there are so many reasons that you would want Correa on your team. Obviously, a great player, a great player during the postseason in the clutch. But when you look at this situation, and you guys hear me talk all the time, the superstars are going to get their money, and then you're going to have to have the other side of it where young players are going to have to fill some positions where they're not making as much money. It just makes a lot of sense when you have Peraza and Volpe on the way that the shortstop position would be a position you can go young and you know cheap is not the way to put it but they would be making a rookie salary so there is a little balance there so I just think this is a situation Peraza did so much at the end of the year to tell everybody not only how he played on the field but how he handled himself in the clubhouse he's ready to be a major leaguer and you'd expect Volpe to be following right behind and may, yeah maybe it doesn't happen all at once but maybe it's Peraza out of the gate. Volpe gets some more reps at AAA. We see him maybe June, July, something like that. And then we also have to remember they brought back Isaiah Conner Falefa on a one year deal. Right. I think Peraza is the favorite to be the starting shortstop. Even though IKF is looming, I think the Yankees are ready to give a youngster an opportunity.